I'm building a space. Hi, my name's Orion, and I'm building a spaceship. Okay, you're going to build a spaceship, and then I'm going to try and fly it. Yeah. So, Hoi, tell us what you're doing here. I'm, I'm finding this one. I want this one. Okay, that's Mark 1 cockpit. Yeah. So. Okay, click it, and then down the bottom. Click it, and then down here you push accept. Push this button that says accept. Accept. This, oh, no, you press cancel. Now you press load. Press cancel. Okay. And press accept. Now you now build your rocket underneath it, right? Okay. Now, do you know what you're going to need to build a rocket? You're going to need fuel tanks, and you need decouplers, and what is that you're putting on there? F I got some else there. Okay. That's the symmetry tool. Hmm. No. That's a fuel line. That'll move fuel between fuel tanks. Do you have a few? You, you only have one fuel tank, so there's no need for a, a, a pipe just yet. Okay. So that's your outside. Okay. That's controls. Nah. And that's just you can't have. There's nothing there. It's parachutes. You could stick a parachute on there, on the side. There. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Okay. Oh, no, it didn't work. You got to push it. No, it didn't attach. Oh, did that? Yeah, it didn't attach. Put it down. Why put it down? And then attach the rocket to this, that to the side. Move it down, down, down. There. Let go. There. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you need a lander thing. Why don't, you, why don't we work on putting some engines on this, Orion? Yeah. I need some engines. Go, go up here. I need engines. You, 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 you want a big one? Okay. That's a really big engine. Do you think that? Nah, I'm going to take this one away. Okay. There. So just click, click, drop it at the side. you got to drop it with the left button. There. And then, oh, there. Now, um, come on. Find, what are you going to do? Are you going to put more fuel or more engines or what? I'm confused. I'm going to one of these engines. I'm going to this engine. Okay, that engine. Right, that's cool. Now, are you going to do anything else? I'm going to get some wings. Okay, so wings are under here. <laughs> and, no, 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 no go on, uh, there's wings under here. Well, there's two, there's wings there, I guess, but there's also wings here. Oh, you're going to put canards on. Wow, that looks cool. No, I put some Yeah. Oh, I can put, yeah, these look cool. Okay, you're gonna put those on like that. But you gotta get them higher up so they click. Okay, you got those on. <laughs> what else are you gonna put on? I'm gonna put some of these on. That? That's an autopilot. I don't know where you're gonna attach that. You can't attach that under there because that's the, that'll be a rocket. You could now if you want to build a rocket underneath here, pick up the capsule and move it upwards, right? Do you want to build so more I rocket underneath? Look, Orion, come over here. I'm going to put one of these rockets. But you need a decoupler first. Decoupler? Yeah, you need a decoupler. Oh. So what you need to do, I'll show you a decoupler's under here. <laughs> under under this one. Oh no, under this one. Under this one. And click on this. A decoupler? Yeah, and you can stick that underneath. Okay, now if you want to make room so you can build it, pick up the capsule and move it upwards. There we go. Leg. Put it down now. Now you can build your bigger rocket underneath, right? Now I need some of these. What are those? Those are fuel lines, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure they're going to do much, you much good. Why don't you go back to building your, getting your rocket motors? Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work very well. Oh, okay. what's this? That's the thing that lets you stand it up on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I think we might, uh, you know, I reserve the right to adjust the staging on this vehicle. Mm. I don't think it's alright. I will. I'm not. You put another decoupler. You know, I would put something in between them. Like, come back here. Come back to the rocket. Okay. Mm. Here, come back to the rocket engines. 
Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, put some fuel tank in there. Put a fuel tank or... Yeah, put this fuel tank in. What fuel tank? I don't know, one of the fuel tanks. Just, yeah, you know, that one will do. And then try on page two, right? Click on that. Oh. Okay, page two now. Look. Page two. Yeah. Here. There's rocket motors here. Try it, try it. That's, that's the jet engines. Try those. Uh, you got to put it underneath. Oh. There, you see, now we've got four edges. And are you done yet? Do you think that looked good? Or do you want to do more stuff? There. There. So right now, um... I think that'll explode right away, by the way, because it'll probably crash into its own tower. Okay, what are you going to do with that? That's an RCS tank. You put those there if you like. Oh, it doesn't look like it wants to stay. Yeah, it's colliding with something else. It won't go there. But I'm going to put that. Are you going to do what? There. Okay, what is that going to do? There, I know. What do you You've already got those on there. That's not going to help. <laughs> I think we're done. Should we I'm try flying this? Launch. Yeah. Should we try flying this? Okay. Okay. So gonna, I'm going to try flying this now. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It'll be awesome? Yeah. It might. Okay. You tell me what you think you see. Okay. I'm going to just mess with the staging. Oh, oh no. Hold the microphone up. Because we got to speak to the mic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's launch. Let's launch. Okay, so we have engines here. We have the decoupler. Okay, I think I think you've actually got pretty solid staging here. The only thing is, I'm going to move uh, this uh, oh. fuel here. Oh, sorry. We I do have parachutes. Okay, we here. We are on the launch pad. Uh, Ryan, can you hold it still? Okay. okay. Let's see. Listen. Launch. You know what? I just realized. I am going to move this here. And this here, because these things will sp take a few seconds to spool up when we're ready to go, right? Yeah. Okay, we ready? You know, hold it. Hold, okay. hold this for me. Okay, we're, we are going to throttle up to full thrust. And here we go. Thrust coming up. And detach. Oh, shoot. That didn't work. Oh, you're kidding! It's in the wrong stage! No! Um, can I right-click, release? Oh yeah, I could do that. That was a huge mistake. Oh yes! It cleared the launch tower! Oh wow! Okay, and this is... This is kind of squirrely. Oh my goodness! Uh, I think having the controls... I think what you've done is you've managed to mount the canards backwards. Uh, but you know, I'm kind of keeping this pointed upwards. Oh my goodness, this is so hard to fly! <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! It just, it does not, it's only stable when it's flying in reverse. But hey, it's got plenty of fuel and I haven't crashed it yet. Now, what? <laughs> like, if I could just keep it pointed the correct direction, I, I might be able to get it to go somewhere. You know, oh my goodness, this is going to be even harder. If, if I can get it up high enough, then maybe I can switch to the rocket motor, right? Uh, but I just need to get it high enough first, that's the thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, the good news is that if it starts to go down really quickly, if it starts to nosedive, it'll want to go away from the nosedive. I'm just trying to keep it pointed towards where the thrust ve the velocity vector is. If I can get it head on I it. No, 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 no. I think I think I, I I had it for a second. Oh. If I can keep it pointed towards the velocity vector, then uh, I'll be doing fine. Because the the forces that are displacing me away from my velocity vector uh Oh my goodness! It, it, you push towards it, and it get, and then it shoots through. But I'm still gaining altitude. Maybe if I get like, and I do have plenty of fuel at this rate, I might be able to get up to 10 kilometers, and then at there, uh, I could probably fire my rocket motor and maybe get suborbital. Uh, oh, look at this! Look at this! Ah, oh, 
Yes! No, 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 no! Oh, crap. Um, pardon me. You didn't hear that. And, yeah. Seven kilometers up now. We are doing some real... We are getting some real flight out of this. I, I'm going to what? I don't know. But it's weird. This is... Yeah, this is weird. I think the problem was that you put the control surfaces on backwards. So, uh, it doesn't help me so much. Okay, so what I need to do is get this up to altitude. Uh, let's see here. I want to, once my velocity starts falling off, I think what I'm going to do is X detach. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. I messed up the staging again. Come on. Come on. You're going vertical. You're staying vertical. No. Damn it. No, you're going to go vertical for me. A parachute. 20, if I get it up high enough, then the air problems will stop being an issue. Okay, 500 meters per second. I wonder if I got it up to al what altitude I got it up to. 41 kilometers. That's, uh, well, in the original Kerbal Space Program, before we had the new atmosphere, that would be uh, considered an orbital flight. Uh, <laughs> that's not so bad for something that was completely terribly designed. Uh I, I, I'm, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, what's gonna happen? It, it, I have to say, it does... I guess this is gonna blow up. You think this is gonna blow up? Well, it still has to land. Yeah. And, uh, it, because it's got three parachutes, and it has... Well, it has these, like, fuel lines stuck to the side, and the... The canards... Well, I'll tell you what, once it starts to fall back down, the canards will keep it pointing in the right direction, I imagine. We'll see. Now? The canards, that's these fancy wings. They're they're pointed backwards. <laughs> so that meant that when it was going forwards, it wanted to turn the wrong direction. Uh, somebody pointed that out, apparently. In all my problems with my atmospheric lander, I could just put the control surfaces backwards, <coughs> and it would uh, want to naturally fly backwards. Oh, look at those three parachutes. Yeah, three parachutes, three wings, three fuel lines going nowhere. That is uh, quite a rocket designer, Ryan. Let the guy out. I, I have to say, though, you know there's a crazy uh, rocket design called the, the Orion. It uses nuclear bombs to push it along. And uh, that, I think, is actually slightly more crazy than this. Let's let him out. No, he doesn't want to get out. I want to see what it looks like when he lands. <coughs> let, 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 let him get out after he lands, right? This could take a little while. <coughs> oh, my goodness, Orion. You need to... Uh... Oh, goodness. Oh, you're going to be polite here. Now, he's running away and Lucky is coming to join me. So, yeah, uh, a rather successful test flight, I, I might say. <laughs> I, I think if I were uh, to run with this design, I would have a bigger second stage fuel tank. I would put the canards the correct way around. He's my little dog. He's your little doggy, yes. It's it's kind of you know that's that would be a nice model to have though is the the de reverse delta wing that uh, they were trying on the the X X twenty nine I think it was that had a reverse delta wing uh, and apparently it had all sorts of interesting aerodynamic properties that made it work really well for uh, fighter aircraft. Of course, this isn't a fighter aircraft. This is a rocket ship. Boy, I can't wait for version one point seven or point one seven because they have a. They apparently will have physical time warp again, which means you'll be able to run the physics engine at higher than uh, clock speed again, so that you can accel time accelerate your way through these boring bits. Uh, yeah, we're still are waiting for those planets. There is probably going to be a bunch of new parts. I would guess there's going to be three meter RCS tanks, since those have been asked for, and uh, an adapter to go from the one meter to the two and a half meter uh, gear. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, so the whole thing didn't fall apart, and it's it's moving at a relatively low velocity. It will probably land intact in the ocean. So, yeah, Orion, that was uh, quite... Wh what are you going to do? You can't really... You could try... Uh, I steer let, you can it. Okay, try steering it for me. See if you can make it... See, it worked pretty well, the steering. At really low velocities, this... Oh! That's not steering, that's the camera, Ryan. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I never use the plane cockpit. You know that? Because uh, I kind of like having the space cockpits. But, I, I mean, it makes sense if you're building an aircraft. It's It's the lightest and simplest of the vehicle cockpits. But I like being able to attach something in front of it. It makes a lot of sense to me. Well, we're so close to the ocean, we could practically swim home if we get to the surface. Yeah. Yep, we're done. We've got about 10 seconds to go before we, before the moment of truth. <laughs> 10 meters and splash down. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he's out. It's upside down. Let's get him out. Oh, it's floating. Yeah, it is. Oh, look, he's bouncing into the air. He's jumping for joy to be alive after that insane flight. And he could swim back to shore. But anyway, I, uh, I'm i Scott Manley. I'll see you around and fly safe. Say bye, Orion. Bye!